feel like finance isn't everything. Money and happiness do not correlate. You think it would because when you have money, it can provide you with things that will make you happy. But then at the same time, you always have that void in you because money is not the root for happiness. It definitely is not. You could both be broke as hell and still be happy because you have that love for each other. And a lot of those people in this class, they don't pause and think about the importance of love. When you have love for somebody and you have feelings for somebody, it's a whole different game. But I forgot what her name is, the girl in the yellow, who was talking about how you don't want to be involved in a relationship if the person's credit history or credit um, rating is um, lower than 500. What correlation does that have to wealth? That has a correlation to credit management, not to wealth. So for you to be screaming that everybody, is, everybody else's points are void, void, void. Beloved, your point is void. That made no sense at all. And I feel like if you're, going, if you're going to be the middle and going to be one of the most vocal people on that show, please come with pragmatic answers to a topic because that doesn't make any sense at all. When you say things with such confidence that are simply illogical, it just confuses people. Where is the correlation between um, <clears throat> credit mismanagement and wealth? You can be very rich and just have a bad low credit rate the score and you could just rent for life etc etc whatever you don't even need to have a credit card um and you know that that doesn't correlate with being broke so that doesn't make any sense at all but i'm not mad at this cast i feel like catherine um made the most sense from the lady side and i feel like lucas was making the most sense from the guy side and that i don't think any of us saw are coming and you know that this has gotten very peak when lucas is the one that is making the most sense the reason why i feel like some of this cast are integrating well and better than i expected is because i feel like there is a comedic kind of value that they are adding that other cast members in prior seasons lacked. And what I mean by that is we have people like JC who's talking about how Yasmin might be part of the streets or whatever, just random, you know, weird stuff. Even Castillo has said some shocking stuff as well. It's just, the shock value makes you laugh because you don't really expect it. And it's quite funny. And I feel like they, they were definitely giving Biscuit a run for his money because these guys are actually quite funny. And that hilarity, that hilarious kind of point that they add um, helps people to, you know, find it more easier to engage with individuals. We then have Lani, you know, and DC competing about the type of shoes they have and, you know, my shoes are pound, my shoes are 120 pounds, who even cares? You could use that 120 to go on a full weekend holiday, but you decide to wear on shoes that will get day the next day. Please make it make sense, because I don't understand. Wait, wait, wait. How much are your trainers? My, my, my shoes are 120, how much are your trainers? You are two girls, bro. Wait, what you're you Nike. Two girls, bro, you're a pants. You girls like to pick and choose when you want this equality thing to come yeah. in. Yeah. You like to pick and choose. Wait, one day you say you want. You open your mouth. You're st to, you're, uh, you open your mouth to say. Stop calling me stupid. Stop calling me stupid. You are about to say stupid. You open your though. mouth. You are about to say stupid. You open your mouth. You're dumb. You're, you're stupid. You're stupid. Fuck you. Don't fucking call me stupid. Don't fucking call me stupid. I'm not even. Hey guys, it's Murad Murali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. So Backchat have returned for their second episode of this season. And before we get into this video, please do subscribe. Click that button for daily and consistent content. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And head over to my Instagram at Murad underscore Murali. I'd really, really appreciate it. Now, this particular topic, I feel, again, it doesn't really contain much substance or depth that I feel like we need for a show like this. Um, I feel like it's a better topic than the first topic, but I don't feel like, you know, I feel like we've had these conversations quite a lot on the show. You're on the fourth season now. We need to progress with our topics for um, most definitely. But this was in relation to... Um, should you be looking for a relationship um, if you are broke, yes or no? Or in relation to money being a, you know, an important factor, if you have money, if you don't have money, should, should you be actively looking to be in a relationship, yes or no, true or false, whatever, whatever, whatever. But before we get in this video, I would like to put a disclaimer to any of the cast of the to any of the new cast, sorry, that have joined this season that are watching my reviews, please do not take anything personal. I'd like to make that very clear because it's been a few times in the past we've had cast members take taking things personal and they throw jabs or whatever do the absolute most for no reason you've consciously put yourself on a show to be reviewed one of the most you know talked about youtube related london shows so you expect to be talked about if you don't like it that's fine but this is nothing personal so don't take it personal simple as that before we end this video i normally discuss topics and get straight into it but what i don't really do is you know review the outfits and i've started reviewing that on my channel since everybody's doing the most now when it comes to the season and when it comes to their outfits in this kitchen in east london i, I don't real talks this kitchen could be in south north i don't even know why i just keep saying east london i don't know why so i thought we'd get into the outfits to find out and see what these girls and guys are wearing we're going to start with the girls i believe her name is lani on the left i don't know what's going on here with this pink jacket outfit. I'm not mad at the jacket, I feel like the jacket is cute, 
but um, I'm just very confused at why you're wearing it in the kitchen and I'm just about confused as to where this is going there's I'm just I don't know I don't understand um, I don't know the, th the three girls in the middle I think I believe one of them's called Catherine I, I can't recall their names but all three of them I feel like look nice and the reason why I say so is because I believe less can be more I feel like you don't have to do the most I know you're going to be in a show that everybody's talking about but you don't have to over dress to look the, to look good because then that makes you feel like you're doing the more because that makes it come across as if you're doing the absolute most and you know sometimes when you do a lot it just can irritate a lot of people and I feel like these three are just you know keeping it that kind of casual kind of formal smart relaxed kind of look we then have um, I believe her name is Yasmin on the right and again I'm not entirely mad at this outfit but at the same time I'm not tremendously loving it I feel like sometimes I feel like a little bit is too much is going on here um, yeah I'm just gonna move on um, and when it comes to the boys I don't know since Lucas I feel like Lucas is really, once this filming ended, I'm pretty sure Lucas must have left and, you know, jumped on that parachute that's behind him because my guy really looks like he's about to use a parachute and just jump, fall off somewhere, child, I don't know where. The guy in the Adidas tracksuit is looking cute with the sliders. I feel like you're forcing it, but it's okay. And then we have Castillo in all black, keeping it safe. The guy in the Reebok, I feel like doesn't look bad. And I feel like his name is DC. I feel like a lot is going on here. Um, I feel like these these crepes or trainers are a bit clapped. Why are you wearing Abercrombie and Fitch and then with these tight kind of torn jeans and the, I feel like he's trying to go for the red hat, red shoes kind of combo but I feel like a lot's going on here and he's a bit lost but it's okay. Now when it comes to the new cast I feel like they actually aren't that bad. I'm actually kind of warming to them. I didn't really expect this because I thought you know it'd be quite irritating but at the same time this is the second episode in right now and only one of the main cast is there one of the original cast is there and that is Lucas and I find that to be quite irritating and annoying yes I'm not I'm warming to the new cast I'm not saying they're terrible or bad but we want to see Esther we want to see Lucas we want to see um whoever else is there Nissi as Raya I don't know they, these two have left oh whoever I don't even know child I feel like I can't remember there's so many people now you just forget what well, you want to see the old cast members still integrated within this platform and I feel like you know I, they, she better be in the next episode but Esther is arguably the biggest character on this show alongside Nunu and Lucas so why are we not seeing these people in the first or second episode I don't understand I find it very irritating because it takes a while to warm up to it and you, you want to you know see the characters again that we've built these bridges with we, we, we want to see them and we don't and I find that annoying not only is Lucas making the most sense but what I find very interesting about this analysis here with this group dynamic that we're witnessing because it's a whole fresh dynamic for us to understand and get into you know dive deep into these relationship dynamics and who controls the room is that we see Lucas and when he speaks everybody begins to listen it's as if he controls the room he controls what people say controls all these newbies but then when these newbies interact with each other they have a different form of um, respect I don't know what that is but I find that interesting I'm not trying to hide pop this alpha male nonsense that Lucas has been saying but at the same time I do find it to be quite interesting that whenever he speaks a lot of people just stop talking and they actually listen to him and they don't really give that benefit to other cast members we also have Yasmin who also clashed with quite a few of his characters I don't understand so when I speak I'm trash but when she speaks no no no, no, no. Wait, I don't no. it's just it's just yeah, a difference Yasmin <laughs> I'm sorry to break it to you but you belong to the streets. Although I'm not really warming to Yasmin and Lani in that kind of respect, I don't like them in that respect in terms of how they come off and their points and what they're saying. It doesn't really make any sense in terms of correlation and there's no correlation with logic when it comes to what they're saying, when it comes to applying to the topics that they're talking about. Both of these characters seem to be pretty good from a stance that they keep people talking. They're keeping people engaged. People like <clears throat> to hate them, like to be, you know, find them annoying. They kind of like that. And that factor is very, very essential when it comes to new characters coming into this show because it keeps the conversation going, that get, gets it trending, people are talking about it, it increases engagement and popularity. So people like DC, people like um, JC, um, Lani and Yasmin, these four are quite, you know, I feel like the most vocal out of all the new people. And I feel like um, they engage more with the audience, not in terms of love or likeness, but it could also be hatred as well. But all of that is good because irrespective of good or bad press, it's still going to be good press because it keeps the show, you know, at a point where everybody's talking about it and it gets more views. The first episode got around 300,000. That isn't actually bad. I thought it would be far less but I feel like that isn't great either. It should at least reach prior figures, but this isn't bad for a show that's really messed up half of the popularity of the show. 300,000 isn't that bad. So perhaps 
perhaps I feel like they're hanging on a few threads and you know this could be actually a pretty good season if they keep this up <clears throat> hopefully and this notion that um, financial um, stability is, is needed I feel like it's definitely one of the top priorities for a relationship but it's not needed for a relationship a relationship can still survive with two people who can be broke because at the end of the day a relationship will carry on and the reason why it's going to carry on is because of the love that you have for each other not lust not likeness, but you have love for each other. When you have love for each other, the key word in this entire, entire debate was what Catherine said, and that is adjusting. You will adjust to a certain lifestyle. You will, the C word, nobody even said, you will compromise. This is how a relationship is maintained in life and how things go well. Clear communication and compromising. You may be with somebody who may be ridiculously broke and you may be somebody who isn't broke and of course that could you know carry a toll on you and you may want to end the relationship but if you like or love somebody and you know, you know that this person isn't just broke but also is trying to you know work hard and trying to get a life it's a whole different situation i feel like these kind of statements are quite irritating because you can go round and round and round in circles and a lot of it is filled and is spilling out with subject um with a lot of subjection. And I feel like this is an issue here because you can go round and round in these topics. I feel like his name is Shay or Jay, I don't even know Chad. And these lot don't wanna come up with his full names. I don't know why you don't come with your full names and you come up with these, I don't know what's going on here. And the grown, grown men are coming up with these, let me not even say anything. Um, I feel like he made a lot of good points as well. And emotion, and I feel like that in itself is going to, you can't say that emotion is not related to the conversation or the topic because it's going to be integrated irrespective of whether it's literally written in the question or statement or not. Emotion is going to be invested into a relationship as well as finance. There's more important things to talk about. Let's get equal pay. Let's talk about maternity leave. Then we can talk about feminism. But in regards to whether someone should be paying for what, I beg, leave that one there. Yes, finance can cause a lot of divorces. Of course, finance is definitely a priority, but relationships can survive, can thrive if you're if both parties are not broke because you if both parties are broke because you will adjust to that broke life and you will live within your means. If you are able to live within your means within a relationship, it then can carry on and can work well. However, it can be a top priority and I feel like it should be an essential priority to be financially stable before you even enter any type of relationship. Whether it be a man, whether it be a woman, whether it be a clown, a plant, a dog, wherever you are, if you're not stable within yourself financially, emotionally, mentally, then you should not be entering any relationship irrespective of that, regardless. We then have Lani, you know, and DC competing about the type of shoes they have and, you know, my shoes are pound, my shoes are 120 pounds, who even cares? How much are your trainers? My, my, my shoes are 120, how much are your trainers? You're too good, bro. Wait, you're like. Too good, bro, you're a pound. Like, I don't know why you'd even spend 120 on shoes. Like, I find that to be just ridiculously stupid. I would never do that. Um, I just find it pointless because you can definitely find good shoes that may look X, Y, Z and maybe, you know, not 120. You could use that 120 to go on a full weekend holiday, but you decide to wear on shoes that will get dirty the next day. Please make it make sense because I don't understand. And everybody on this car is saying the word capping. They're really forcing this American kind of slang terminology here. Every, everywhere, I, when I would go to the US, they force, they always say the word capping everywhere. And I was coming over here. Hopefully it's not a trend because I'm not really knowing anyone saying it, but these cast members are saying it 24 seven. Every day capping, every day capping. Put on your cap and call it a day because I'm really tired of this capping, capping, capping. Because it's just, it's just really too much. It's going to be quite long. Let me wrap it up. Let me know what your thoughts are on my review. Did you guys like it or not? What are your thoughts on what I've said? Do you guys agree, disagree? Comment down below. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.